In part three of Keeping Your Mind Sharp, we discuss the factors that contribute to a dulling mind. In this episode, we'll discuss getting enough rest and relaxation. Earlier, we talked about how stress and anxiety can play a major role in mental decline. When you go to a psychiatrist, one of the first tests that they give you is a memory test. They'll ask you to memorize three words. They tell you something like ball, train, and hat. And then at the end of your visit, they'll want you to repeat those things to them. Now, if you can't remember, it shows them that you have too much stress in your life. One of the factors that contribute to this dulling of your mind is not getting enough sleep, having your body in fight or flight mode 24 seven, and having too much stress hormone cortisol in your bloodstream. If you have a bigger belly than the rest of you and you can't sleep well comfortably, it's more than likely that some of your issues are related. There are things you can do to get more rest and relax more to lower stress. Learn to meditate. Study after study is showing that meditation helps people relax, lowers blood pressure, and contributes to a good quality of life. If you don't like meditating, you can choose to pray instead. Studies show intense praying or meditating can relieve stress and improve brain function. Start a yoga practice. One of the best exercises for your overall health, mind, body, and spirit is yoga. There are different types of yoga, so find a class that is for beginners so that you can try it uh, without any pressure. There is practice for every single age and health issue. Identify stressors. One way to reduce stress is to find out if the cause is something external. Hey, your job, dislike something at home, having issues in your marriage, kids are not behaving, money problems. All these things lead to stress, which leads to lack of sleep, which leads to brain decline. Find ways to eliminate stressors. When you identify a stressor, if it's possible to eliminate it or change something about it, to make it work for you, then make a plan to do that. For example, if you have a lousy time at work, start applying for other jobs or join a training program that helps you get promoted. Get back to nature. Science has shown in many different studies that humans do better when they are out in nature every single day. Whether you look out the window at a magical view or walk barefoot in the park is up to you. However, there are also positive studies about grounding that lets you know that it is important to get out into nature as much as you can. Start a journal. For some people, reducing stress by writing in a journal is helpful. The type of journal you use depends on your personality. You may like to use a bullet journal or a gratitude journal or something else entirely such as a regular diary. It's up to you. If it helps you express less stress, do it. Color or draw. Some people find it very helpful to take some time before going to bed to sit in the quiet and color or draw. There are even studies that show that doodling or coloring reduces blood pressure in patients with high blood pressure. Read. When it comes to reading, it's important to choose the right thing to read when you're stressed out and cannot get rest. Don't read anything that will upset you. Instead, read uplifting and positive information that helps you reduce stress. Create a nighttime ritual to help you get more regular sleep. You want to set up a nighttime ritual that will help your mind accept that it's time for sleeping and resting. Stop eating a couple hours before bed. Turn off screens, avoid caffeine and sugar, and keep your room cool and comfortable so you can sleep. If you are particularly anxious and stressed out, consider seeking professional help. Some types of anxiety are related to health. For example, someone with low iron can experience high anxiety and heart palpitations. So anytime you experience something like this, make an appointment with your health care provider to ensure that everything is going well health-wise. In part five, we'll discuss how activities sharpen your mind. Until then, get enough rest and relaxation. <laughs>